Hello, my name is Lee Hamlet. You may remember me from such videos as local parameter setting and overview. Now remember that because it's going to become important at the end of this video. Today I'm here to talk to you about the square root function. What is the square root function? Basically, it's a function on our differential pressure transmitters that allows the transmitter itself to take the differential pressure measurement and perform a square root function on it before sending the signal out to the DCS or the controller. Why would you want to do this? Anytime you're using differential pressure to try to do a flow application. Uh, differential pressure flow still uh, accounts for about 50% of all the applications to measure flow out there in the marketplace. Now, there are a lot of different places you can do it. So not only can the transmitter do it, but the DCS can do it or the controller to do it. The important thing is that everyone involved, the systems engineer, the instrumentation engineer, any of the technicians, all know the plan and where it is being taken at. Because if not everybody doesn't know, the systems engineer may think the instrument's doing it, the instrument engineer may think the system's doing it, and pretty soon either nobody's doing it or everybody's doing it. So make sure you're well documented and you have a consistent plan on where to do it in your system. Now best practice is to do it in the DCS. The DCS has far more computing power than the transmitter does, but the transmitter is perfectly capable of doing it. Now there's one other area where you may want to use the square root uh, function. Say you've got your transmitter, it's measuring DP, you're sending a signal off to the DCS and your DCS is doing all the square root uh, evaluation. However, you have a local display and you'd really like your technician who's out there working on the transmitter or on the process to be able to see what the flow is on the display. Well, Yokogawa's transmitter, you can actually set the display up to read the flow by square root and the DP, but the actual output of the transmitter still be non-square rooted. Uh, this is important if you need this type of uh, system to use. Now, I talked to you earlier about my LPS, the overview. Now, if you look at that video, uh, or you look at the knowledge base, or there's even a field guide that can go in and show you how to use the LPS to set your output to either uh, square root or linear. Uh, and that's probably the easiest way to change it. You can also use Fieldmate. You can also use a, a heart handheld indicator or a brain handheld indicator, but the LPS is the easiest way to do it. Now the display, you'll have to use Fieldmate or a handheld indicator. I hope this has answered enough questions for you. Hey, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask us. This is Lee Hamlet and I thank you.